Tom. It would seem that we have hit critical mass for big puppy energy. Welcome to a brand new week. Uh, the first vlog went up and uh, everybody seems to love it. It's actually, what day is today? Buddy, do you know what day it is? Wednesday, thanks buddy. Um, it's, uh, it is Wednesday on, uh, on Monday. I think, I'm trying to think of what all, what all I did the past few days. I, I've been working pretty hard on getting my channel kind of like up to snuff. I created a new YouTube banner yesterday. Um, uh, Manatee and I also went on a, on a big walk through uh, near the river, like uh, south of the river of, uh, like just south of downtown Austin, just south of the river. Walk along there, it's very beautiful. You get a really nice view of downtown and uh, all the construction that's happening there. Uh, some, uh, some Austinites uh would say that it's that it's uh it's well it's it's interesting because it's like the skyline of austin has changed so much over the past like 20 years that's like it's it's unrecognizable now by some people who maybe came here back then and are coming here now and just seeing all these new giant buildings going up like it's 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 insane austin was such a even for a capital it was such a small especially for a capital it was such a small city but it's uh, it's it's expanded greatly, expanded quite greatly indeed. But anyway, um, that that walk was uh, was really good. He he had uh, he had fun out there. Met a lot of new people, new dogs, the usual. One thing I found out as well is that the puppy daycare camp thing. Uh, I could send him there now that he's four months old. The problem is he can't play with the other dogs until he's neutered. So like. I'd be putting him in there for like six to eight hours and he'd only get a half hour of playtime with another human. And it's like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that to him at such a young age. I've already, like, there's already points where I gotta leave him alone in the house for, for periods of time. And I gotta go to a place like the grocery store or what have you really. So he's just, so I, I, gotta, I gotta wait another two months before I can get him neutered and then, and then two weeks after that to make sure there are any more stitches, the stitches are out. And then he can go to puppy day camp. So that's good. So, I mean, so that's, that's something, it's not really good. My transitional phrase is, that's good. At any rate, uh, this weekend is the Runaway Guys Coliseum and uh, I've got all my, my stuff ready except for my bumper. Um, so I've been really racking my brain on what exactly to do for a bumper. Um, I was thinking of including, you know, obviously I feel like I should include him because everyone's going to be like, Oh, where's Manatee? Where's Manatee? Why did you include Manatee? Um, and I was going to do something relating to a phrase that I coined called Big Puppy Energy. Now, if you're wondering what Big Puppy Energy is, um, whenever, whenever he's kind of being uh, a, big, a big goof and like running around and doing things that he shouldn't do, that's, uh, that's Big Puppy Energy right there. So yeah. Uh, I was thinking of making it into something harnessable. BPE, big puppy energy. Speaking of, uh, of that as well, I've wanted to do merch for a while and I wanna see if I can get an artist uh, to make like a, like a big puppy energy logo as though it was an actual energy company and make that into a shirt. And I think, you know, I think that'd be something pretty neat to, to put out there for, for all y'all. But anyway, today we've got one more meeting for the Runaway Guys Coliseum. Yesterday was supposed to be the Disc Only Podcast, which that's something I didn't mention in the last vlog. I started a podcast with, um, you know, uh, this is, and this is mainly for people who don't normally follow my content, but I've been starting a podcast with Proton John, the 8 drummer, and Stephen George called Disc Only. And it came from a joke in last year's Coliseum where, which was actually a long running joke even before then, where the, uh, where one of the top donated games was the Game Boy Player Disc with no other Game Boy Advance game. So... It was just staying on the Game Boy Advance screen the entire time and just and we would just talk over that and that turned into a podcast which will be turning one year old next month and we're going to be doing um, I guess sort of a special version of the Disc Only podcast uh, on Coliseum assuming that Game Boy Player Disc Only wins at the Chaos Cookie like it did last year. Chaos Cookie being people donate for games and whatever game has the highest amount of money is the one that will be the one played next. But anyway, I'm waiting on food, uh, and then I got the meeting, and then I'm going to stream some uh, Project Winter tonight with, uh, with Chilled and all them. So that'll be a good time. It's been a while since I've done a, a, any multiplayer stuff. I think the last thing I did with them was Among Us, so we'll have to see how it goes then. Anyway, 
Um, yeah. It is Thursday, and uh, like any good uh, filmmaker, um, I saved my bumper to be made for Coliseum until the day before Coliseum. I've taken a little bit of footage. Uh, I decided to do something with uh, with him. Um, you doing all right there, buddy? He's fine. Um, yeah, I wanted to do something with him uh, on the the phrase that I made of big puppy energy. Um, and I'm gonna be spending pretty much like the rest of the, the night working on that. Uh, I already recorded a bit of it right now. Going to the parks, so I can record a bit more of it. And then uh, I just have to write up a script and make a few graphics and then edit it to, uh, and then like edit it all together. It should be good. Hopefully I'll have time to stream tonight. <clears throat> if not, that's fine. We've got Coliseum to look forward to, so uh, that's all well and good. But yeah, like I said, we're going to the park. I ended up not streaming last night because it turns out I don't have the audio set up for, uh, for um, uh, Project Winter because of how the game works. Um, so I, I, I stream on a, on a two PC setup. Um, so one PC has my mic on it, which is the one that I stream on. The other one has like my games on it, but I need a mic on the gaming PC so that way I could do stuff and be able to like interact with people in, uh, what do you call it? In, in Project Winner. So I, uh, so I didn't have a mic for that and I didn't realize until like a half hour before we were going to go live. So I had to bail out of that one. I didn't end up streaming it tonight. As for tonight's stream, I'll probably, uh, I, I kind of want to play Hitman, but again, that's all going to depend on whether or not I get my bumper done, or as close to done as possible. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is Coliseum, and uh, my, uh, my segments are already looking pretty good. There's a bunch of segments that I'm going to be in as well, um, as well as, uh, you know, just a bunch of really good segments overall that, that I'm not involved with as well. <laughs> good job, Tom. You really know how to sell it. Um, but anyway, uh, he and I are going to go to the park. I'm going to film some more, um, some more, uh, big puppy energy moments. And, uh, you can enjoy those, those clips coming up right now. Come. It is Friday, which means it is the first day of the Runaway Guys Coliseum. And as such, uh, we're, we're playing, well, well I'd, I'm not playing anything current. I've got, in about five minutes, I've got a Mario Kart segment coming up. But uh, as of right now, Steven's got, uh, Steven and Mal have their painting uh, thing going on. Uh, and we've already raised nearly $50,000 towards direct relief, which is nuts. This is only, we're, we're coming to the end of our, of, uh, of our four, or rather, Coming up to the four-hour mark, I should say, and uh, and we already raised that much, which is nuts because it's a fraction of the day, and uh, and we're getting um and you know we're getting we've we've almost got more money than we did the first day of the first Coliseum we did, which makes sense. We're generally going to get more and more of a following as uh, as as we do this, but uh, man, it's that's it's it's still nuts, and I'm I'm so happy to be a part of this group and to know all these people, and it's just so good. I'm happy to be to to be a part of it, and uh, and you know all proceeds are going to direct relief, raising uh, money for uh, uh, you know COVID nineteen aid and any sort of like medical aid that's needed around the world. Um, in terms of COVID aid, direct relief's already raised one point three billion dollars for it for you know just across the world. So that's really good. I also finally got my bumper done. Got it done today, actually. You know about an hour ago. I'm wearing the same clothes as I am in the bumper, so. All shot and recorded today. It was pretty much more or less improv. I had I had the idea of what I was gonna do up here, but I didn't actually write it a script. So I just had I just did it on the fly by the seat of my pants. Uh, and I actually cut it a lot closer than I did last year. Last year I got mine done like a day or two beforehand. This one I got done the day of it going live. Like after, at some point today, my bumper is gonna be shown. So like so I I really cut it down to the wire here. Oh, uh, but anyway, it seems like they're about to wrap up their segment. I've got a Mario Kart segment next that I'm going to be in, so uh, tune into that. And uh, yeah, if you didn't get a chance to watch the you know Coliseum event during the actual event itself, VODs will be going up on the Runaway Guys channel, so be sure to check those out. If they're up by the time this vlog comes out, I'll link to a... Um, there'll be a card in the, uh, the top left or top right, whichever side it is. I think it's top left. Um... 
of the screen. Or no, wait. It's mirrored left, right, right, left. It'll be somewhere. Um, but uh, there'll be a card up there that'll lead to a playlist of the Runaway Guys Coliseum 2021. Anyway, I gotta get to Mario Karting. It is Sunday and the last day of the Runaway Guys Coliseum. We had one hell of an event this weekend. We raised so much money. I'm about to put it on the, the big TV down here. And also living room furniture pending as well. Um, but uh, I'm going to put it on the big TV down here for pretty much the rest of it. The only segment I'm not going to watch is uh, is probably the Bowser's Fury run. Because um, uh, I haven't played that yet and I don't want to be spoiled on it. So uh, I'll probably duck back in uh, at the at the conclusion when everyone's like kind of like wrapping up. Um, but like, man alive. It was one hell of an event. Like, we raised so much money. We almost beat... Uh, the entirety of last year, last night, uh, as opposed to raising all that money over three days, we would have raised it over two. On top of that, like, it's still going, too. We have so much bonus content coming along with this as well. Uh, bonus streams on John's end. I think Jules is doing a bonus stream as well. It's just so much happening. He's, um, he's tuckered out right now, little manatee. Uh, and not necessarily tuckered out, but rather a little bit, uh, he's, I think he's feeling a little bit neglected right now because I'm normally giving him a lot more, uh, attention at this point. But, uh, this weekend we've been cooped up in here because of the event. Um, that's going to change tomorrow though when I take him for a, a big, uh, excursion through the park. He loves the park. So we're going to, we're I'm going to take him out there, have him go on a big, big long walk. And then we got to go to the pet store because he's out of food. And I also just want him to go there just to see, like... Maybe we can get like a toy for him or something, or maybe I'll get him. He likes waiting in um in the river, uh, so maybe what I'll do is I'll get him a vest, uh, so that way I could take him out in like a kayak or something like that. And he can go for a swim. I'll have to, you know, introduce him to the concept of swimming, but you know we can, you know, baby steps, baby steps. At any rate, he's being a good boy. The event is going super well. Uh, I'll probably post a couple of like clips of it uh, here and there, like when we reach insane amounts of money or just like funny little quips and whatnot. I'm definitely going to post more of the, like the funny stuff that happened during uh, the Tom Foolery highlights, but for now, uh, I'm just going to, uh, do you have the hiccups, buddy? Oh yeah, he's got the hiccups. Let me see if you can, if you can he uh, hear him. I don't know if it's a puppy thing, but he gets the hiccups pretty often. Um, but anyway, man, oh man, though, that uh, the event is going. TRG Coliseum 2021 has been such a huge success. I'm so happy to be part of, of you know, this group with such great people who, you know, are giving their time to do this kind of thing, to raise money for charity, to people who are just fun to be around. And to people that you know that that I've looked up to for a long time, and I continue to look up to, even even though I see us now on on even footing, so it's uh, it's it's really emotional and really you know great. And the one thing I can't wait for next year is, you know, presumably travel restrictions will be lifted. So hopefully we'll be doing this in person next year, and I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the marathon and rest a little bit because it has been a very tiring weekend. Um, I've been going to bed super late, much to Manatee's chagrin because he's used to getting up in the morning. Uh, and yeah, got a, I got my tea, I got my switch, and I'm going to have the TV on with, with the, the Coliseum going. So that's going to be it for this week. Actually, no, not, not quite. You know, I'll do one before I go to bed just to, just to give you guys the total of what we've done. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this is the end of, uh, of the week of the vlogs. So, uh, let's cut back in, in a little bit. Woo! And we are coming to the end of TRG Coliseum. I thought he'd be sleepy, but he's, he, he okay, so he sees the, uh, the, uh, the puffball mic that I have on here, and he jumps up to try and grab it. So, he's, uh, he's kind of being a little jerk in that regard, but... I got it on the TV over there. They're on uh, they're on the uh, the uh, Bowser's Fury race. 
Um, and we are up to uh, $388,099. And I don't know how much left of the marathon there is, but we're, we're getting really close to $400,000. That is, that's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. I can't believe how, how well we've been doing. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be awake for it because I am going to be going to bed like right now. I'm tired. It's, uh, it's late. It's, oh my God. It's 2.40 in the morning. I didn't even realize that. I guess technically welcome to Monday, but th we'll start the, the next one later. But I'm going to head to bed now. And uh, thank you all for joining me on this week in my life on this vlog and whatnot. Uh, next week we kind of return to normalcy, and I'm going to be taking Manatee to the park uh, tomorrow because uh, he's a good boy who's earned, uh, earned going to the park. See you all next week. Later. Voice squeak! <laughs> <laughs>